Uh, kia ora tato katoa. <coughs> Wicked. Uh, tēnā koe whanaunga. Thank you very much for the uh, great introductory. Um, previous speakers have gone over the time limit because down in front of me is a big panel counting down from 10 minutes. <laughs> Everyone's gone over, so I'm now on four minutes <laughs> to get this quarter out, so bear with me. Okay, okay. So, ane, uh, ane te. Click up. Okay, okay, so I'll go back one. Okay, kiko nei tō papa, tōna papa, my, that's my dad. And I put him up on this page because when I grew up back in a little place called the Pari Pari, right next to Whanurua Bay, right next to a little place called Takaha, that was my idol, that was my dad. He could speak te reo Māori, he could speak te reo Pākehā or te reo Prawa. <laughs> he was a pig hunter. He was a cray fisherman, and as a young boy growing up with my two okanas, that's what he taught us. Unfortunately, my papa thought that te reo Māori wasn't the avenue for us to make our prawa. That was the only unfortunate thing that our papa never taught us. Engari, we used to go to the marae, tikanga was entrenched in us. Never go around the back of the marae, my son, always go through the... Hey, straight up the middle, kei nui, never go around the back. Unfortunately, like I said, my papa thought that it would be good for us to go to kura. Te kura o te apuni. Now, <clears throat> let me set the scene for you at kura. When I went to kura, my first teacher was my mother. My beautiful mother is sitting in the crowd somewhere. She'll be blushing. So as my mother was my teacher, and I was the portiki of the Fano, I could do no wrong. Henceforth, I learned nothing at Kura. <laughs> I distinctly remember one day, you used to have cloak rooms in your, in your klahe. My mother was up the front teaching everyone on the blackboard. I was in the back because I was hungry, <laughs> searching for some kai. <laughs> My father walked in the back door and caught me. Needless to say, I was shifted very swiftly to the front of the class. My kura, I left, uh, I left um, Te Whanau Apanui School. My father thought it would be good for us to go to uh, Hato Tipene, where hopefully we could learn Te Reo Māori. But once again, <clears throat> I went there. I didn't learn a lot of Reo Māori. I learned how to be very mischief and other things. But I also learned that I could play rugby very well. But one of the things I did learn, and I forgot to mention when I was at Te Whanau Apanu Area School, was the one thing you cannot do to a young Māori male or a young Māori female is in front, embarrass them in front of their peers. Because I used to go to remedial reading. Who knows what remedial reading is? Special reading, eh? Now, I used to go there... One of the one of the tawira would come in and uh, Matsua, Michelle, you've got to go to special reading to Mrs. Mac Roberts. That was all right. I was fine with that. Michelle was a girl. <laughs> I was told with that. Yeah. Unfortunately, Michelle was intellectually impaired. So I was at the reading level of someone that wasn't, didn't even have their faculties. <laughs> and Mrs. Mac Roberts didn't help the situation <laughs> one bit. Because she would say, oh boy, bit of a waste of time for you, I think. <laughs> so I got sent to Tipene. That's right, we'll sort them out, we'll send them up to that kura. It'll be great guns. Because when you go to a new kura, what do you do straight away? You sit test, eh? Tui tui, pānui. Wow. 
That was not my forte once again because I slipped back a little bit at Te Whanau up in the area school. So naturally, I did very poorly in the test, so I got in uh, the lowest class, which some may call G-Force or 3TU or the dancers. So kura was not a nice time for me. And I couldn't work out why. I couldn't work out why I, I couldn't retain all these kupus. Hey, I'm like, ah, bro, I think I am pretty clever. You know, I can, I can run fast. <laughs> but I can tackle big fellas. You know, I can do all of this. How can I can't, uh, you know, I can't spell. I can't, I can't spell jar. Is it J-A-H or J-A-R? <laughs> Far. You know, and I'm thinking to myself, come on, Mats, bro, you know, sort it out, brother, sort it out. So I've got to be serious now. Kura was not nice for me because I had a learning disability. And I don't like to call it a disability, and I didn't learn that until I left Hato Tipene. I went through my life. Approximately 30 years later, what do I do? I go back to Waikato University. <laughs> hey, kia ora, you clever fella. Hey, the place that I hated most, the classroom. Go back in there, bro, that would be awesome for you. <laughs> Not only that, I convinced my older tour gunner to come back with me. Because I needed someone to totoko me, eh? Because that's my tour gunner's big job, that's his mahi. Bro, if I don't know what's going on, mate. Kai akwe, that's you. <laughs> hey. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry about that one. That was, that was a slip. <laughs> that was a slip. So what you can see in front of you right now is what I learned at Te Tohu Paitahi. So that there is called uh, one could... So in my, in my real journey, Whakapākia tia, we have the Whaka Māori tia. That there is what you call hieroglyphics. Whaka <laughs> Māori glyphics tia. So that is how I retain the information that's coming to me. And I only learned this because I was luckily sitting next to a young lady in our class and giving her that one, not at her, I was looking at her words. <laughs> hey, looking at the kupu. Because every time we had a kiwaha, a kororoawaha, we had to learn a speech and stand up in front of the class. And I'm good at standing up there, and I'm thinking, what the hell am I going to say? <laughs> and I looked at the, the paper that she had written on, like similar to that, and I read everything on the line. And she looked at me and she said, Eki, you dyslexic. <laughs> I looked at her and said, this what? <laughs> she said, dyslexic, you must be dyslexic while you can read this. And I said, well, quite possibly, quite possibly. <laughs> no, because you don't want to go either way, eh? you hedge your bet. <laughs> quite possibly. And she said, no, nah, you are. And that lady is Terina. She said to me, no, nah, I think you are, Mats. I've watched you in class. I see you put up barriers so you don't have to call in front of people. Or the worst thing you can do is whakaiti someone's mana in, some, in front of your classmates. So that there, what you can see there is the hieroglyphics which I use to keep in my head. Because I can't remember. <laughs> because I can't remember kupu. Hey. So that's my excuse. If you ever send me a text, I won't reply back. <laughs> I can't remember kupu. I'll read something. I'll be reading a book and it's awesome and I'll get down to the bottom of the page and I forgot what's at the top of the page. <laughs> oh, well, I'll wait for the movie to come out. <laughs> but that's how I remember. I, I retain my information is through pictures, through hieroglyphics, moldy glyphics, I call it. Okay? So that there, and I've just been diagnosed as of two weeks ago that I'm severely di di uh, dyslexic. Not dyslexic, dyslexic. <laughs> That's another tucky anyway, that one. Oh, another one. That's for next speech. 
So I'm severely dyslexic. But what that actually means is I just learn differently. Hey, I learn differently. And I'll put that up there. That's my beautiful fun. So I learn differently in regards to how I retain information. And I was talking to my whanaunga, Pe Whairangi, uh, in Ngāpō, when he was teaching me <laughs> this speech. <laughs> <laughs> and he said to me, Mats, you know what, Aoha? He said, our tipuna back in the ra, they never concentrated on things that people couldn't do. They concentrated on the things that people could do. And they picked their mana on that. Okay? So I put that back to you, Fano. Here's a part time for you fellas. As I finish my quarter, I'm 40, 50 seconds over. <laughs> Rear hall is at the back scratching her head. <laughs> I put this part time to you. Maybe if some of our tamariki can get diagnosed earlier in their schooling career, so they then have the lens view of people trying to correct them or fuck eat them in front of their peers, and there's a different style of learning. Maybe our hinakis won't be as full as they are. No rere te fano, na mihi nui ki a koutou kato, tena koutou, tena koutou, kia ora tata kato. Ane te krahe o te tohu pai tahi.